back that day. Yo, this your new favorite rapper, Young Sauce to God, and right now we live on the Wake and Bake Show. Yeah. Yo, 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 yo. Wake and Bake TV. Yeah, for sure. Appreciate you, man. You know what I mean? Yes, sir. Yeah, I do, man. I actually got a couple, and the first one is uh, she goes by Bunny, and actually I'm going to let her introduce herself and what she does and what she got going on. It's Bunny, baby. I am a plus-size model. Um, I'm very passionate about what I do. You can follow me on my Instagram at it's bunny underscore baby. So that's I T S bunny underscore baby B A B Y. So, uh, who taught you for a bit? So, how did you get into modeling? You know what? People always just been like, you know, you so confident in yourself, like you know, you should you should model, you should model, and you know, I just, I brushed it off. Like, I, I brushed it off for years. And it really took me to go through, like, a really bad breakup. Because, like, he didn't want me to do it. So, you know, he broke my heart. So, you know, I had to okay. bounce back on him. Okay. Yeah, so uh, I already know what that is. <laughs> Put it in his face, goddamn, huh? Yeah, you see what you left? There you go. There you go. There you go. I ain't going to hurt you. I ain't going to come tear up your car and stuff. And, Stalk you like, but you you gonna see me. That's what's up. That's what's up. So, uh, what are some of the things that you like about mine? Man, you know, just being able to influence women. Period. You know, regardless to what size you are. You know, because I meet so many women who, regardless to what size you are, you can have, you know, to a lot of other women, the perfect body, and they be so insecure about themselves and going it's through a lot. Thing is the perfect. Everybody is the perfect body. Right, 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 right. You feel me? So all these people that have these stereotypes of what, you know what I mean, they vision of what people should be, that's they vision. That's not God's vision. Right, God's right. Vision. Everybody, so that's how that is. So it's no such thing as the perfect body. There you go. All uh, the perfect body. So <laughs> we're going to kill that though right now. Right. So you can't perfect. tell me nothing about me. <laughs> but, uh, yeah. but go ahead. But, yeah. That's yeah, so, so you like to influence women. That's what's up. That's what's up. That's what's up. Everybody needs uh, confidence in what they're doing. Mm-hmm. You feel me? Some people need pointers in what they're doing. Mm-hmm. Some, some people may be doing it the wrong way. And it's not good to just keep supporting somebody because everybody mm-hmm. think, oh, that's the thing to do. You're supposed to let people know when they need to step their game right. up. That's important right, too. Right, you feel right. Me? You're supposed to. Not being a yes man, huh? Be, yeah. Be truthful mm-hmm. with them. Right, yeah, right. Yeah. So that's what I see a lot of shit that go on in the game because a lot of people just want people money. So they're going to be like, yes, 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 I'm real for you. Give me your money. Come back and perform at my showcase again. But if you trash, I would try to help you with some shit. <laughs> you know what I mean? I would just keep the best you to come back and do this fucking right, trash. Right, right. Going on and and right. trying to get everybody else to accept that shit. But every music is an art. I ain't going to say too much of it is trash because everybody got their own. Art. For sure. So it's art. It just may not be what I like. Right. <laughs> or may not be the quality of music that I think you should be aiming for. But that's just a little game. So let's get with the next guest here today. Okay. Hey, hey. It's T Jones. Uh, I go by She Models. Um, you can follow me on Instagram at She Models31. Um, yeah, like basically, I'm just kind of new to this um been two years modeling um i'm not with the agency so i like to do my own thing freelance and you know just get with some real genuine dope people like we got right here um and so you know like just out here moving around and miles you know came at me put me on and we've been going ever since so like it ain't nobody i haven't met like yet been working with him my photo shoot at the photo shoots you know just meeting real genuine people okay. so yeah so he, he seems like a, a real goddamn good team yes but um he do go hard on you so when i say that i'm you know he do go hard on you so like you said you gotta have somebody that's gonna push you and put you in you know 
put you in the right place when it's needed. He definitely does that. <laughs> so I appreciate him for, you know, putting me on and stuff. So uh, how did you actually uh, start working with him? Just through a little Facebook. Um, I'm going to be honest, uh, another model um, had hit me up, um, whatever, and um, I was supposed to be working with her, which he was working with her as well. Um, and then he hit me up, and we just kind of like, hey, you know each other, jazz, blah, blah, blah. And, you know, so we just started moving around like that. And um, he invited me out to an event one night, and uh, we just started, I started pulling up anytime he asked. And he linked me with the radio stuff, and I did Models of the Week. You know, that boomed out. And, yeah, so I'm just waiting to see more. I'm excited. I don't learn nothing bad from him at all so, so is this gonna be your first time uh, uh experiencing the BET pre-show yes this is my oh. first first time okay so you're yes. excited about that yes definitely definitely excited can't wait That's what's up. That's yeah what's up. so you got anything uh in store anything coming up you yes i before? do uh i am going to be doing merch myself um i will be um like i said i'm building a modeling agency so any models out there just you know want to get with me and follow me like I said um but I am building an agency but also I'm stepping aside and um just putting out some merch um that um I've always wanted to do um I'm a hoodie girl so I like hoodie leggings like you know just a little sports kind of urban wear stuff so I'll be putting it out which is going to be called the journey life so um it has a story behind it, but we ain't going to do all that, you know. <laughs> but once that site get built, you can see the story on that. But, yeah, um, so I'm out here really just, you know, grinding and pushing. So, yeah. Have you ever tried to do music? I haven't. <laughs> I, they are. They are gospel legends. I do come from um, that type of background my dad's from um it's our brothers they have a gospel group they have cds and things like that um but um I, um i just never um just put myself i sung in a gospel group um for about 12 years and um their names are uh forgiven and um so i sung with them for about four no yeah 12 years and i just haven't consider myself as no r&b singer like i wouldn't mind putting work into that either I mean, to come up with something but i'm not see, i'm not your typical like me seeing right here i'm like she got this artist type vibe like you, you got the model vibe but you she well you thank you, you <laughs> thank you it's just i gotta i gotta put that you know down on the vision board you know so <laughs> but um yeah like i do i play around singing sometimes but i'm not your typical writer um so you, you, you should you should try it because uh i mean like every 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 um artist is not you know what i mean it's not some people it's not things that they vision themselves is doing and then say maybe you not, may not be a writer somebody could maybe write you a dope song yeah or you may you know what i mean yeah see we was just talking about that earlier yeah, we got all so <laughs> Well, thank you. Thank you. No, no, no. I appreciate I that. Thank you. got it as an artist. To be thank you. Thank so you. I guess we, uh, y'all want to tell people where they can follow y'all at again? Again, you can follow me at SheModels31 on Instagram. T. Jones. Mine's is It's Bunny. It's I-T-S Bunny underscore baby. Same as Snapchat. <laughs> she be in the field as well You know what I'm saying They really out here At the artist showcases And pulling up support Outside of what they do They really support Artist showcases And all of that man So they really be pulling up Let's get it Yo 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 <laughs> Man, you know what it is, man. We stepping like that, you know? 
Man, for sure. Man, we showing out with it, definitely. For sure. We did that. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Absolutely. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? So I let you, I give you a brief description of what they do because they've been doing a little modeling, but outside of that, uh, they work at the radio station with me as well, and I'm about to get their show syndicated on the radio. So that's what I'm doing for them, man. So we just been building them up, doing different things. They've been coming to the radio, like running the camera, being on their personality a little bit, doing this and that. So we just been kind of building, and we we looking towards the launch day show around like the top of the new uh, 2021. So, but we're definitely doing all the groundwork and the, uh, the background work for it right now. So I'm gonna let Coco and and Maya tell you about a little bit about what they do and what they got going on. Well, I'm Miss Coco, and y'all can follow me on Instagram at Miss M I S S dot K O K O underscore. And me and Maya, we're about to start this podcast. It's about, I guess, we're joining forces to bring love, light, and entertainment to people. So, yeah, it's gonna be something dope. Everybody needs to look out for. Hey, I'm Maya. A lot of people know me by Red. Um, you can follow me at Lady Red. It's L A D I I Red underscore eleven eighteen. Um, so kind of like Coco said, we're just we're really working on a way for us to stand out because I know there's a lot of podcasts and you know talk shows and things like that. But like she said, we're going to be covering you know definitely supporting the Black community, so Black owned businesses. Um, we're going to let you know about. Uh, new products, quality of products, and we're going to be big in our community, so look out for our name. We talk entertainment. So, uh, how did y'all team up with me? I mean, how did y'all make You know what, let me check it out right there for you. Naked the mic. Look, check this out, Big Dog. So, this is how we even got here. I, I always say this, uh, Big Dog, look, uh, First of all, I never thought I would be doing radio. Like like I said, COVID is the only thing that made me tap into that. I'm still a true artist. I still got love for the game, and I still got two, three more projects left in the tank. I'm 32 as well, so outside of music, like I'm going to school to be a teacher or whatever, but also I used to do club promotions and this and that, and this is where we linked in, and I'm like, man, you know, I got a position at the radio to be able to have some rank to put some people in position to do different things and launch shows and do this and that, and they always, we was always cool and had good vibes back in the day when we uh, promoted at this club called The Complex. So that's really where uh, we all, uh, the connection came from. And I like longevity, long term, and I've been knowing them for like six, seven years now, right? So I just been trying to put my people that I've been knowing and that, that around me that I truly care about in position and kind of help us do things. Even outside of the show, like I said, build revenue uh, streams, merchandise, whether they do lip gloss, hoodies, whatever you want to do, let's sell bundles, like, shoot, let's get it, let's make it happen, you know what I mean? So we just been networking, man. I mean, everything ain't going to be easy in the beginning. Everything, take it as a challenge and learn from and grow from it. I mean, it's interesting, but, I mean, we all learn and grow from each other. It's interesting because I've never been in this type of uh, position, I say, around, like, artists and all that type of stuff. So it's new to me, so I'm growing and learning. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I agree with her. It's interesting, um, but it's fun. Um, like she said, uh, we definitely trust Milas. So um, everything that he's doing, like we know that he got our back, you know, from start to finish. So we in it for the long haul. We got his back like he got ours. So I trust him. Um, but yeah. in their hand, that's what it build together. And and then like you say, uh dealing with you for a long time, that's kinda uh building a strong empire. Right. Like a foundation. For sure. You feel me? So y'all been rocking, y'all been getting it. You know what I mean? Y'all can't do nothing but go up. Right. You know what I mean? Like I 
say one person got one back, the other person got the other person back. Hey. And to mirror what you said about success, my whole campaign and what Yes stands for, for, like I said, this is good. Is I've been a force in music. I've been did communities that got my own charity, and I've been in this classroom for 10 years straight, as long as I've been 10 years rapping. So I say that to say my, my things have been called, this stands for, Yes stands for Young Entertainment South, which is the record, the music part of it, but the other, when I'm in the schools dealing with the kids, it stands for Youth Equal Success. And the 88 was the year I was born, so that's what Yes means, just oh, for okay. anybody who didn't know, you know what I mean? Oh, okay, that's the stuff. And Gifted basically turned into a, 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 a line by itself, but I got a, a, another situation going on with Puma, hopefully we just gotta finish locking it in, but this was just a merch tee off of my uh, album, like a song I got on my album that's just turning into, man, hoodies and like it's, it's the supply and the man is going crazy, so I'm just gonna rock out with this and probably launch the clothing line next summer, but I'm gonna finish definitely getting the, uh, that's what, that's structure what together, about. you know what I mean? That's what it's all about. Your, 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 your brand got all tied in. And, What's up? You know what I mean? Like I say, you start with a foundation, and then you build that shit all the way up to an empire. Absolutely. So, uh, definitely any major label, like you said, QC, anybody that's going to want to be dealing with you, they're going to want to know where you at. What's the return on my investment, huh? What's, what's <laughs> all of it? That's just like you stepping into the shark tank. That's what that's I right. tell a lot of you got to go in there and sell your product. So, and they got to know that your product can make them money. So, you feel me? So they got they gonna wanna hear your story behind what you got going on, what you did, what your numbers like, what your uh music sales are, what your uh streaming goddamn numbers are, you know what I mean, what your sales on merch is, you know what I mean? Can you sell products? You know projection I mean? and then you know, I look at everything. I, you know it's so crazy too. Like my whole life. You know you're not supposed to judge yourself and offer what's uh, offer what's going on or where you at. But I've always been uh, live my life off of a school schedule, like meaning we, we like every four years I, I look at where life is at. So like I say that to say like you know you gotta you gotta scale yourself and be able to scale things that you've been doing. Like I've been doing the merch and putting out music so long, I pretty much know what I'm gonna do when I put out a CD. It's good to know that too, like the, the type of, but it's also keeping the the, the momentum up and the drive. I done dropped the ball a few times too and had to get it back up. And this time is the, I feel like I've been the most consistent for the longest I've ever been. And I've just been, you know, elevating every year. So it's just like, and it's, it, it is rough, but you yeah. know, everybody can't go. You know yeah. what I mean? It's, it's a process, man. It's no easy, it's, like I say, it's no easy way. It's no blueprint to the game. So it's, it's not easy about it. Sure. It's, no, it's no walk through the door. You know what I mean? You got to basically kick it in. Absolutely. So. You got to be willing to do what it takes to, you know what I mean, get to the door to even cap, tap on that motherfucker. Nah, you feel me? Yeah, you accept no too, because you will get a yes eventually. Like they say, you know, you stand up at the back of that line long enough, you'll eventually get to the front. So there's certain things like that that I always believe in and try to, I live off of quotes, man. Like, them really carry me through life, you know what I mean? Certain yeah. things your mama taught you, this and that, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Your choice would be right or wrong every day. It's your choice, you know what I'm saying? We'll never be perfect, but we should strive for yeah. Like, you know what I mean? Yeah. Then you gotta take uh pointers from the people who did get a yes. yes you feel me? <laughs> what well, did he do? How did he work, get man. it? Yeah. You, you know what I mean? Yeah. So that that's how it goes. So uh I guess we finna uh get into the mix right here. We're gonna have more back. Hold up, let let these ladies uh tell the people where they can follow them and follow their show at. And again, I'm Lady Red, uh, at Lady Red underscore 1118, and that's L-A-D-I-I Red. All right, so y'all stay tuned.